That's actual authentic Japanese, not necessarily grammatically correct, but uh, wow. Yeah, it's been um, four years and um, not quite four months, I think. Uh, anyway, I'm all ready uh, to uh, maybe finish this off. You know, I got some snacks here. I got some cheese. Oh, let's not eat that right now. I got some pretzels. And of course, I got the most disgusting soft drink you can make at home without killing yourself. Beef fizz. Yeah, so episode four. The Ewoks. <laughs> okay, the Dremlocks, but they, <laughs> yeah, they're basically Ewoks. The shadows land on their planet and do something. They bubble up the Dremlocks and except one manages to escape. And then Mighty Orbots happens to be flying nearby because Rob is delivering a new invention. It can scan any kind of energy and it can release any kind of energy. Hmm, wonder if that's going to be convenient. The answer is yes. They receive reports of shadow activity on the Dremlock homeworld, which is Idyllia. So they land. They land on the day side, unaware that the shadow activity is on the night side. I don't know why they don't do a reconnaissance orbit, you know, scan everything for... No, they'll... Let's just land here and then go exploring. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. And then the different groups meet uh, different Dremlocks who are totally non-suspicious with their evil glowing red eyes, and they hypnotize the robots and capture them. I forgot that Bort could transform into several vehicles. They must have done that. That sets the problem with uh, taking such a long gap. But uh, maybe it's because, I mean, it's a neat idea, but, I mean, it's not, you know, something that could make an interesting toy. It's just, Room, now I'm a tank, but I also have a head sticking up. Room, now I'm a hover sled, but I have my head and torso. But anyway, they are being forced to mine Energon. Oh, wait, Energite. The most powerful mineral in the universe, or was it the galaxy? Either way, Ono helpfully tells Rob, who being a scientist would likely already know this, you know, the one time when the narrator could save some awkwardness? Nope. The narrator is the mum on the subject and we're given as you know dialogue, which at least doesn't begin with as you know, but ugh. shut up, narrator. But yeah, apparently, um, yeah, Bo and Boo turn invisible, which, well, we can still see them, but they're shiny. So I guess that's supposed to show that they're invisible. I, you know, I'm what happened to an outline or, you know, just not showing anything. And suddenly they leave footprints, even though they normally don't leave footprints. <laughs> um, I will say this. At the end, Tor says, what a revolting development this is. <laughs> a line missing from every single Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. Okay, nine episodes to go. Let's see if I can make it. Um, yeah, this is... I kind of feel like if you looked up Wasted Talent, you'd find... If not this series, then at least this episode. The animation director was none other than Dezaki Osamu, and the voice director was Howie Morris. So, yeah, wasted talent.